Good to see everybody. Uh, I was talking to Larry Terry a few minutes ago. And we were talking about the last time that we were in this room was either 2000, late 2019, 2020. And Brian talking about this being the first meeting like this he's been a part of. Charlie Majors and Larry and I met in a little room back here to start discussing um, the possibility of cooperating between Region 3 and the Well Cooper Center and bringing a full-time program director uh, here for Region 3. It's been a great relationship with Brian and the Well Cooper Center. We'll hear from Larry a little bit later in the day. Um, just to give you a sense of how long it's, it's been, we just approved renewing Brian's contract for another two-year term. So it doesn't sound like much. So Brian, you're gainfully employed for a little longer. My creditors, thank you. <laughs> it, it doesn't sound like much when you say, you know, 2019 to 2020, but when you start to put some of the detail around it, you say, wow, it's been a long time since we've been, been in the same room together. We had a, a council meeting uh, a couple of weeks ago, I can't remember exactly when, and we had a full turnout because it was just so good to see people in the room again. So it's great to have you here. We appreciate you taking your day and, and joining us. Hopefully you'll, you'll learn something. This one is going to be a little different. In the past, we spent most of the time talking about what Go Virginia was trying to do. And we're going to spend a little more time today talking about here's some of the things we've done. And when I say we, I'm not saying just the Region 3 Council or Go Virginia. There are many partners in this room that you will meet today that have contributed to the success. And the real success is goes to them because they are the ones that have done the work. But a lot of what we've emphasized is what you'll hear today, regional cooperation. I can remember Charlie Major saying, I don't know how many times when we were meeting to organize Go Virginia, this is a regional organization. And when you come to us with a project, you better have figured out a way to make it a regional project. That's what Go Virginia <laughs> is, and that's what you'll hear today. I want to take a minute introduce uh, some of the special guests that we have today. You're all special. I'm glad you're all here. But a couple of folks we want to recognize. You'll find that I'm not, I'm not very good politically. Um, as I go through this, my daughter's a lot better off from a political standpoint than, than I am, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll do the best I can. We've got some Frank Ruffis here. I've seen Frank hey, is in the uh, Delegates, uh, Danny Marshall, thank you for being here. And Tommy Wright, thanks for being here. We've got several Boards of Supervisors members here. I know Gary Walker from Charlotte and Mike Akins from Lunenburg. Uh, Stanley, Stanley Brandon. Is Stanley here? Let me see. Anybody else? Uh, any elected official that I've missed? Brian, you did a good job with the list. That's pretty good. Uh, we also have uh, Nicole Riley, who is the Assistant Secretary of. Um, uh, Labor for the Office of the Governor. We'll hear from her a little bit later at lunch. And she's here with us today. Thank you for being here. We appreciate that. Um, let's see. We have a lot of Region 3 council members here today. So I'm not going to call you out your name, but if you'll raise your hand, stand up, throw something, do something so we see you. <laughs> Charlie and uh, Melody and that's Jeremy over here. I know this. Yeah, we got them around. So uh, see those folks and you have an idea. Uh, they're the ones you need to see because they're the ones that uh, approve the projects. So, again, I think when we think about Go Virginia, we think about Region 3. And I think I, I finally figured out who authored this map. Uh, Judah Brown, when she was doing Go Tech, had a map of Region 3. And she had the three community colleges and the three higher ed centers. Julie, am I right? Okay. And what she had was arrows. And this group will tell you if you're in a Region 3 council, I love the arrows. Because they, they would go from the institute to all the other community colleges and higher ed centers, so from SBCC to all the others. And then they would bring in all the different school divisions in the region. And all of a sudden, you had arrows going around everywhere. 
And so now, when I think about the region, I think about that, but then I also think about layering, layering in the Sobe Innovation Hub with those arrows that reach out to Farmville and Longwood and Hampton City, Sharon McGuire, sitting right here, Brandon Hennessy, right here, that also make connections to entrepreneurial groups around the region, in Danville and Barnsville. Longwood and Hampton City working together on the Project C, which is to bring an innovation hub to the old Barnes & Noble uh, bookstore for Longwood and Farmville, if you know where that is. If you have a chance this afternoon, you ought to go see the Southern Innovation Hub right down the street. I know you got to go around and go to One Way Street. <laughs> don't, don't take the first left when you come out of here. Go straight over and take the, take the next left and go see that. Uh, that's also NBC Atlanta Broadband's headquarters. Um, but Microsoft is involved there. They have an experience of the Tad keeps telling me. They have done something that they're going to have that up and ready to go to. It's ready. It's ready? All right. Jeremy's good deal. That's great. <laughs> I like that response. It's ready to go. So I think that's a great space uh, for entrepreneurship and innovation here in, in South Boston. You tie that to the one farm, and that's another project. Um, several others you'll, you'll hear about today. Um, so I think when you think about those arrows, that crisscross the region. Then you start to break down the lines of communication. One of the things we talked about early on was so much of our communication in Region 3 is north side. You know, if you're in Danville or Marchville, you're more connected maybe to Greensboro or maybe up to Lynchburg, Rumble. If you're in Mecklenburg, you might be more connected to Raleigh. If you're in Ottaway, Amelia, you're more connected to Richmond. We had to figure out a way to get that communication going across the region, the 58 corridor, if you will. And so we got Letterpress, who's done a great job in, in helping us figure out a way to get that communication going east to west. I did notice the other day, I looked, uh, I don't know if many of you have LinkedIn, but you get the little Go Virginia blurbs that, that come out that flow through LinkedIn. And I noticed the other day that uh, Region 3 had 589 followers. Now I'm a little bit older. I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> but I think that's a good thing. And I think the last time I looked, it's actually more than the state of Virginia organization had. And so what that's telling me is that there's a need and a desire for understanding what's happening across the region. And I think by having you folks here today, it's an opportunity for you to find out what's going on in different areas of the region. More importantly, what can I learn from this area that I can take back and apply where I am? What can I learn? And so again, Region 3 and Go Virginia, really about you know, the three C's that I talked about the last time, which is communication, coordination, collaboration. And if we can accomplish those three things, We've gone a long ways, at least in my mind, to fulfilling what the mission of Go Virginia is. And that's whether or not we do any projects. The projects are nice. We need to do them. They're a benefit. But that communication, if we do it right, is so much more important as you look across the region. So. That's as much as you'll hear from me for the rest of the day. <laughs> the first presentation, I would also be remiss if I didn't recognize uh, the staff for Region 3. You've heard about Brian David and his new contract. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Liz Povar and uh, Nancy Poole have been with, with Region 3 since the beginning. Right? And their guidance with Brian's guidance has just been uh, amazing. Deb Gosling, I know Deb is here, where are you? Sitting in the back uh, with uh, Southside Planning District, our <coughs> fiscal agent. She, she makes sure we follow the rules and, and keeps us straight from, from that standpoint. But she and her team really have helped us as we try to organize uh, this council and also, uh, that's my cue. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Quick. So, 
I hear you, Brian. You always keep me on time. So, Liz and Nancy, y'all gonna do this? Liz is Liz is uh, dressed for Cinco de Mayo, which is today. She's got the colors on and uh, she's ready to go. I feel like we're on a talent show or something. 